says, what is the proper dress code for women in Islam? The dress code is simply indicated in the Quran in general. There's no specific dress code that you have to drink this particular color and this particular style or fashion. Rather, it's as simple as, Ya ayyuhan nabi yukul li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'i al-mu'minina yudanina alayhinna min jalabi bihan. Thalika adana an yu'arafna fala yu'udhain. O oh, the Messenger of Allah, O oh, the Prophet of Allah, order your women, your wives, order your daughters, and order the women of the entire Ummah to lower their outer garment, jalabi bihinna, from head and down, in order to cover themselves up, so that they will be recognized as free and chaste women, so people would avoid looking at them. Avoid subjecting them with any bad behavior because she's a chaste woman. A woman who's wearing hijab was known at this time and until today. She's a chaste woman. So even those who have bad thoughts would avoid looking at her because she protected herself. That can be violated if the woman is covered from head to toe but wearing see-through at the part of her clothes, or wearing some glitter on the abaa or the outer garment, it attracts the viewers to look at her. Or wearing perfume, fragrance, very attractive. Or wearing anything that makes noise, whether it's high heels, ankles, bracelets, whatever. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Mu'minun, وَلَا يَضْرِبْنَ بِأَرْجُلِهِنَّ لِيُعْلَمَ مَا يُخْفِينَ مِنْ زِينَتِهِنْ They used to stand with their feet, wearing their uh, anklets. So they will strike with them and it will make noise. Right away, people will pay attention. A woman is just passed by, has just passed by here, or is passing by. So they will look at her and they will look at the spot which is making the noise. Anything that can create this attention should be avoided. So that is the meaning of the hijab for women in Islam. To be ordinary, to be in a condition that would not attract any person to look at you. Then when you go home, you wear whatever you like. You do not wear whatever you like. You're free before your husband do as you wish. وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا And not to show their zina, except the part which has to show such as the abaa or the outer garment. But the other zina or adornment or means of purification, whether the flesh, or the jewelry, or the makeup that you save for your husband and those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed you to sit before without wearing hijab before them, the maharim, I mean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what's best.